Hello, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. But of course, and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. Okay, it is timestamped. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. Okay, so this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see you shuffle on hand. Okay, if I need to um, clarify these cards, you'll see extra cards once I've taken them in. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in. And I'll be back. All right, so Taurus, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and pick it up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and of course, uh, if this isn't your situation, you can always stick around at some time. There just could be messages throughout this that just jump out and speak to you. Okay, and of course, feel free to check out your other readings. It should be pinned in the corner of the screen. All right, so let's start. All right, so there definitely is love coming from this person. I feel like the need to say that first off the bat, really, um, Taurus, with that eighth of cups there. I felt the need to just say that. You know, this person does see you as someone that they care for very much with the ace there. But it seems like maybe this person maybe made a mistake in the past, which they're wanting to kind of make up for as well. Um, and that's kind of creating somewhat what of a burden for them. But you're wanting to establish something with this person, with the Queen of Pentacles. You're wanting to kind of go down a new path, um, do something different to establish something. But the Queen of Pentacles there, I've also got the King, you know, which talks about, you know, putting work in something and reaping the rewards um, and the harvest of your hard work. So just kind of uh, establishing something. But there's something that's stopping this connection and you're very much aware of it. We do have that three of cups showing up there. So like it's this queen of swords energy that's on this person's side that has been they've been able to put their foot on this person's neck so to speak um for some reason and not allow this connection to progress not to say i'm not sure whether they're purposely doing it but they're definitely doing it and you're kind of aware of it but three of cups there uh, but you're wanting things to turn around you're wanting things to turn around and you're aware that you need to kind of move smart uh, be a bit more um with that queen sorry that king of swords be a bit more strategic in terms of just how you handle this situation yeah, of course, it's stressing you out as well because you know there's love there. I feel like, yeah, there ain't cups on your end, but I feel like there's definitely love here between the both of you or a lot of care. There's care. But this Queen of Swords is putting a block to this person moving forward with you in some way, shape or form. But regardless of that, this person is trying to kind of hold on, um, hold on to the fact that you know, eventually they're going to be able to escape or leave. I thought I'd say escape. I don't want it to sound like this person has kept them captured, uh, captive and, and, and that type of thing. But you know, just holding on to the, the belief that, you know, at some point they're going to be able to move forward, um, regardless of how challenging it might be or how it might look at the moment, which it kind of is. It kind of is. It's, you know, this person is showing up as the knight of cut coins. So it's like this person is engaging in things that they just don't really want to engage in. It's like they're doing things that they're not really wanting to do. Um, maybe be in places or burn places they're not really wanting to go. Uh, and they're just not happy about it. And you're not happy about it as well. Showing up as the justice card. It's like this is an injust. You know, this is not fair. This is something that, you know, shouldn't be happening. So you're trying to process. Just trying to process this situation, really. Trying to get your head around it. Try to balance your thinking around it. Because, of course, 
you're not able to move forward, very much drawn towards this person. But there's been, you know, it's, it, there's this, you're in a, a funny place. We're in a funny place with that five. We're in a funny place, Taurus. You know, it's gone a bit. What's the word? It's gone a bit. It's just in a funny place. You both can, you can feel it. They can feel it. You can feel it in a way where it's making you wake up to the fact that you need to make a choice about this. You need to make a choice about this because, you know, yes, this person is someone that you care about. Yes, this person is someone that you want to build with. But for how long are you going to wait? How long is this Queen of Swords person is able to get away with, you know, stopping your person from from moving forward, from progressing forward? And yeah, of course, you know, you, you know, your person doesn't want to be there, but or have this person. Because I'm not even sure whether this is a relationship or. I'm not sure the dynamics of that, but it's definitely someone that is making it difficult for them to move forward in whatever capacity. They're trapped up in their head. You know, it's just keeping them trapped. It's nothing, you know, they can't think of anything else but this situation that they're in. You know, they can't think of anything else but this this, this emotional fulfillment that they know that they can have with you, that they have with you. But it's this other situation that, you know, it's like, trying to defend trying to protect it's like they're trying to protect that working hard to do so as well with that eight trying to protect that they're trying to protect that in some way they're just feeling stuck they're just feeling stuck you know they're just feeling stuck wanting to move forward but again, we've got that Queen of Swords stuck right in the middle bit of this moving forward and this emotional connection that they want to have and deepen or that they have with you. It's like this Queen of Swords is stuck in the middle there. Now, the silver lining is this level of belief that they have that at some point, at some point, I'm not sure what is going to happen or what, you know, at some point I'm going to be able to move forward with this. And I'm just holding on to that. I'm just holding on to that idea and holding on to that belief that at some point I'm going to be able to move forward with this because I'm not sure. I mean, how long can I keep? How, how, how long can one keep being in this situation ultimately? Now, usually we move into part two of the reading and get a fuller picture and see kind of where this moves to. Um, that way, you know, we can kind of shed some light on some answers regarding the situation. However, um, I will be implementing that next week, guys, so look out for that. But as it stands, as it stands for you, it's more about you realizing that, okay, I need to make a choice. Am I going to be more patient with this person or with this situation? You know, because I do want that 10 of pentacles. I do want us to come together to, to start a family or, you know, a relationship or whatever the case may be. And give to this. But... You know, things have gone a bit, we're in a funny place and I need to, to ask myself those important questions. Yeah. Now, it really depends on the dynamics. It really depends on, you know, the ultimately, I don't advocate for waiting. That's just not what I do. I don't, I don't advocate for waiting. Now, there's a difference between letting go of something with this with still having the idea and the desire still having the idea and the desire to attain it but having a level of detachment from it and still progress with your life in other areas etc etc let nature take its course we call that divine timing that's um, that's what i'm an advocate of uh, but waiting you know uh, constantly thinking about someone or constantly thinking about something and, and it kind of brings you into this loop of, you know, and not, then that's not why I advocate for. So the choice is yours. The choice is yours. At the moment, as it stands, like I said, this person feels stuck. So there's not much you can do, really. The choice is theirs. They have to get their self into a point. I'm not sure the dynamics, like I said, of this situation. So, you know, there's only so much I can say in terms of what's going on with this here. But what I do know is something that's causing them to is blocking this from progressing. And ultimately, this person has to make a decision or 
find a way to get out of it. Uh, but what do you do in the meantime? If it's uncomfortable and you're starting to stress and worry, which we do have that night, then, you know, release yourself from that. Don't, don't live in that type of energy. Yeah. So you have something to think about. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity, some form of um, insight so you can make the decision or the choice about whether you want to kind of be a bit more to patience, whether you have that within you to be a bit more patient with the situation or to say, okay, I'm looking, I'm going to be, I'm going to ready to step away from this and allow you to do what you know you need to do while I, you know, live my life. So hopefully this is giving some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next.